everybody, Nate Tice here from The Athletic Football Show, back again with another edition of Wind the Clock. This week, going to be looking at a Jacksonville Jaguars touchdown to Travis Etienne. A little Wildcat quarterback action happening in Florida. Not that infamous game between the Miami Dolphins and New England Patriots in 2008, but this time an Etienne touchdown just outside the red zone. A little misdirection, little end-around influence, and I'll explain what that means. Let's see what the Jaguars did and how they scored. Setting up the situation for this Jaguars touchdown, it was just outside the red zone. It's first and 10, and it's the beginning of the second quarter. Now, if you remember my video in week two about the Dolphins or week four with the Lions, both of those plays came in the shot play territory, just outside the red zone. Teams usually like to get to these designer, maybe gadget plays, maybe big heavy play action plays or double moves just outside the red zone where they have a little bit of space and they can kind of catch a defense on its heels. So here are the Jaguars and this is the funkiness that they already present right at the snap of the ball. They are in 23 personnel with two running backs and three tight ends on the field. 23 pony to be specific because that's Travis Etienne and Tank Bigsby, both tailbacks by trade. And if you remember my Lions video in week four, they were also in 22 pony personnel. You might've noticed that I circled both of the running backs next to each other and that quarterback Trevor Lawrence is split out here by himself as the lone receiver. And that is because the Jaguars are in a wildcat formation. Wildcat meaning someone else, not the quarterback, not the real actual guy that we call the quarterback for this team is lined up at the quarterback spot. This case, Travis Etienne. The other formation features for the Jags, they're in a bunch formation with their three tight ends. There's Trevor Lawrence again, and that'd be minus stance as the lone receiver. And then, ETN at quarterback and Tank Bixby at running back. The Jags snap the ball quickly. ETN gives that foot quickly and they're off to the races. Now I'm going to let this play play out and show exactly what unfolds. We have a fake handoff right here, a little play action or a little fake there from ETN to Bixby. And you can see how that draws <laughs> three Colts defenders. Look at those three defenders at the snap of the ball. Really four, really everybody, just ever this whole front everybody's peeking inside we got eyes inside we got eyes inside eyes 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 everybody's looking over there that is the misdirection element of this play and the blocking which we'll get to in the end zone view is very similar to an end around or reverse type play or a windback type play which is a misdirection type run concept so that additive element of having a running back fake to another running back to add that little wrinkle, that splashing the water that draws all these defenders eyes towards that action to then run the other way. It's just, it's another layer that these defenses just have to sift through. And you can see when you pair it with a running back that runs like a 4-4, maybe a sub 4 4 40 in Travis Etienne, the damage that it can do. So we'll let this all play out. And you can see Evan Ingram here, the tight end, with kind of a lead block, a pull lead block with the kick out. In this defensive back, this corner here, he can, you know, he can say he did his job because he kept contained. See that little shoulder? Yep, yep. I'm, see, I turned it back inside. I did my job. And we have ETN in space with a lead blocker and offensive lineman out in front. He makes one defender miss. And we have a touchdown. And I'm going to show this play now from the end zone view. You can see all the communication happening with the Colts defense before the snap. Got a lot of pointing, a lot of, hey, hey, the quarterback's out here. Quarterback's out here. This is not Trevor Lawrence. We would recognize number 16 here in that hair. So that is not number 16. But that still is a dangerous player and a very good running back in Travis Etienne. So all that communication happening. And you can see Evan Ingram, who has the key block on the outside or one of the key blocks, selling inside and whirly birding back outside to get onto that element. There's a reason that the Jaguars put the very athletic Evan Ingram as that puller on the play. So at the snap of the ball, there's our Ingram selling inside and you can see the entire flow of the defense here. Really focus on how that defense steps over on the fake. Really nice actually handling the snap there from ETN. <laughs> he, he makes a nice play here. So there's the fake. There's the other element of this, and that is right guard Brandon Scherf pulling on this play. So that also draws all these defenders over. So there's the fake element. There's Ingram out in space. You see how these tight ends seal on this play. Seal here and seal here. And really a lot of sealing happening from these players. Other offensive linemen climb and try and get out in space as well. So as the play plays out, Right there, you can see how much space 
This is very dangerous to give a player like Travis Etienne this much space in that type of alley. As the play goes, you have Ingram on his kickout block right there in the corner doing his job, you know, leveraging it back inside. And then you get an offensive alignment out in space. ETM's got a little two-way here. He gets to use his blocker right out in space. Makes a defender miss in space. Doesn't even barely even gets a hand on him. And ETN does the rest for six points. Now, this concept, this run play, is something that has come up recently this year. And it really is has some similarities to an end around or reverse type play that I referred to earlier. So an end around play that this play has some elements to or some similarities to is a play that's designed to have defenders step one way and then you use speed and a seal element like we see in this play to create leverage and get a very athletic and fast player out in space. Here's the Jaguars running an end around last year to Jamal Agnew for a very big gain. Also, you can see the lead block out in space. Then here is Justin Fields and the Chicago Bears running this exact same design that the Jaguars are using. I would say exact same, but same elements of getting this kind of end around type blocking out for the quarterback run game. So while the Jaguars use a wildcat quarterback look and giving Travis Etienne the ball, a very explosive player, the Bears just use their normal quarterback look. While it's not exact one-to-one -one recreation, you know, the run fake is a little bit different, the formation is a little bit different. You can see all the same elements. You can see the guard pulling, the tight end, really birding back around as a lead blocker. Cole Komet doesn't really block anybody. It's kind of frustrating, but then you can see Justin Fields, a very athletic and explosive runner out in space and getting a puller out in front and a little bit of misdirection happening for the Bears. It was a nice variety here from the Jaguars and getting Travis Etienne to touch that Wildcat quarterback look. I'm curious if other teams maybe copy it, maybe throw in their own little wrinkles as the season goes along. But this was a fun play, fun touchdown for the Jaguars, and they got another victory. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another edition of Wind the Clock. Please make sure to like this video and check out all those previous videos I referred to a couple at the beginning of the video. Also, make sure to subscribe to the Athletic Football Show YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'll see you guys next time.